Bonjour, mon univers du foot. That's what I think it means. Hello, my soccer universe in French. Anyway, we're gonna do a Ligue 1 jersey review, and this one is the first special one because for the first time, the jerseys I can hang in the background is every the uh, other teams than PSG up there. Of course, there's only Marseille and Bordeaux, which I will wear during the respective videos where they will show up. But I find this rather remarkable. I decided since PSG is in this video, I dis I'm wearing the most recent PSG jersey that I got from last season. One of the absolute best jerseys from last season, in my opinion. Glad I have that one. I had the home jersey. If they would have won the Champions League, I was on the Nike store. I could have got it, I think, for 44. I was there to press just buy uh if they would win it then i was thinking for a day or two maybe i should still buy it because i actually liked it i said nah get some other french teams and finally recently got marseille and bordeaux and i want to add a few more uh as well as for the background everything else is filled up with french national team jerseys and then here i went to the francophonie it's all african teams uh that are native french speakers so all frenchified as much as it goes. So you get already an idea, PSG is in this video, how did I choose the teams in this video? Uh, you have it here on the side. I took last year's standings or the abandoned standings in this uh, case. Um, went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then every team that has a 1 is in this video and we order it alphabetically and therefore we can start with Dijon who are again with Lotto, and I think last season, this is the typical stuff, usually French league jerseys, there are a few outstanding ones and the rest is very often just template with tons of sponsors on there. Um, Dijon, for this time around, doesn't get a plain jersey, they have this center stripe, which I think does very well. The only thing that I don't think is necessary here is that it breaks up and then you have the sponsor in white. I think the sponsor in white could have well gone over the black uh, center band and it would have looked fine. It actually would have even improved the jersey because it, it is within the width of the center band. So I don't really get why we have to break it here. I actually do like the lot of sleeve cuffs uh, to get the logo in. I'm not so fond about the uh, color, um, but other than that, I think it's a decent but a rather average jersey with sponsor all overload. And here you see the new league uh, patch, which I actually like the new uh, league uh, logo. Of course, on this jersey it doesn't look all the great, but still. I think this is a solid start, but not worth more than six stars. The away jersey, same thing in uh, white with a red center stripe, also looks decent. And here again, I have the same problem with the center stripe. Um, and maybe, you know, now here the, here the sponsors are not black. I think that's all right. I mean, there's nothing really that uh, breaks the colors, just the color a little bit. So again, six stars i think dijon average but you know workable georgia is something special could be a little bit better monaco this time around second season now with kappa and this time around they get the classic monaco look this is the look i want to see from monaco uh last season they went a little bit too far down with the red and then they had some weird pattern in there here it's the diagonal look the fat come very nicely and the, uh, I actually think this is very, very, very smart. If you have a sponsor that is mostly lead letters, uh, put the letters in an outline, even if, you're, if you, especially if you have a two color color jersey and you will never have a problem. This looks absolutely gorgeous, the way it is, I have to say. Uh, we can, of course, discuss whether the sleeves shouldn't, uh, one sleeve should maybe be red. I think that wouldn't look out of uh, line, but then how do you do it on the other shoulder? So, um, yeah, you know, thanks to, Things to consider here, but I think overall it looks really, really, really nice. I'm gonna give this nine stars. I don't see now here whether it's on the back also. This is the thing. If the back is now a solid white, that would probably drop it and it probably is to eight stars. But the way it looks here, it is nine stars. Uh, the away jersey, this is the new uh, Kappa color that I actually uh, like. I totally love this one. This I love better than whatever they had the last few seasons. Uh, yes, it is different colors, but it totally makes sense. It totally makes sense. You you keep the identity of the club uh, by keeping this very unique diagonal. Um, I don't want to say how 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 they call it diagonal half half. 
in 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 a way in yellow and dark blue the colors are very well uh, going uh, together uh, they're very pleasing and I think here the choice and yes I always say make the colors fit the logo not the logo fit the colors here I can understand it I think it's nicely done but for that reason let's only go eight stars but it's really nice colors and then a third jersey with potentially I think there's the casino of Monaco is on there which makes it nice white does make a little bit of sense sometimes uh, you will need the white uh, color uh, for Monaco as well so uh, makes sense I overall it's nice I mean it's nothing great but I really like that there's this casino print on there so I also would give this eight uh, stars Monaco really looking strong this season I have to say let's hope they can produce this on the pitch we go a, we're still on the south coast but we go a little bit more west with Montpellier who have issued different jerseys for men and women not the first church jersey but the alt alternates are slightly di different for men and women we look now at the men's versions and I only have this beach picture here that I like I always loved Montpellier's colors the blue with the orange there is just something about it that if it's done well this looks great and here totally done well I absolutely love the way this look you have this kind of darkish blue you have the orange color and then a little bit on the side it's a class it's a really classy look on it uh yes are there too many sponsors totally totally I think Pazino bet would be fine but then the one here and then the two here that's a little much and that will preclude it from really getting um, a high grade but I have to say the general uh, layout of this one is pretty darn cool and uh, it's the best thing I've seen from Montpellier in a long time eight stars the away jersey is the orange one makes sense doesn't it totally I would say it makes total total, total sense um, yes they go a little bit more unicolored here uh, understandable also again make it fit I think if you would have a full color crest it would not look out of place at all given the colors but I think they, it's more orange and black and for that reason I want to go only six stars uh, here and then you have the third jersey this is a Valencia jersey yes for a third jersey it's fine but I would like to have seen blue sleeve cuffs or orange sleeve cuffs you know have them in the club's colors then you can have the white jersey I mean black and white looks okay but if you look at this I'm thinking more Valencia than anything else for that reason I have to dish out the lowest grade so far I, I would give this a five but we really have not gone low here Mopay also issues its brand cancer awareness uh, fourth jersey in pink now uh, I will slam this usually but this is a good cause it's a one-off and for that reason I think I can support this it's but it's nothing special it's basically orange jersey in pink five stars I think we don't need to go much further here than that and so we're at the big team PSG and after 10 years we finally have the classic PSG design back that one the one you see on the on the side so this is the good news, the absolute good news. Uh, maybe the red center stripe is a little bit too narrow. I would like it a little bit. This one is a little bit wider, I feel, but you know, um, we can live with it. I have an issue with breaking up the pattern with the sponsor. Uh, you can see the opal here in white. It works just fine. Again, outline the letters. You have no other problem. And the funny thing is, if you look here closer, these letters are outlined so you could have done the same thing here outline the letters in dark blue or even red if you like but dark blue you have no problem it will look fine the opal here is outlined in dark in blue and it looks fine so I think this is something that Nike missed a little bit and then there's another step and I'm guessing this is a throwback because it's the 50th anniversary of PSG yes they're not a very old club uh, and maybe they had a design like this but I have to say the collar and the sleeve cuffs are not my cup of tea this here looks much better you just have a collar in blue and red here the white on one side bothers me and then the, the collar and the sleeve cuffs are not the same 
it looks disjointed in a way. I actually think if you would use the sleeve cuffs on the collar, this pattern, and on both sides, I think this would look much, much better uh, than this white line around the collar. I, I'm generally pulled off by that. I'm so happy that they're back with this. Yes, it's a plain back, which I'm not so happy about because you could go with this design front and back, I'm absolutely certain. So uh, that's one part, 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 part of it. Um, I'm so happy to see the design back, but somehow, at least to my eyes, they messed it up. They messed it up, they messed with it. Too much so. I would love, this would have been, this was my most anticipated jersey of the season. Because I have not seen this in 10 years. It's pretty much 10 year, years ago they started with all these crazy patterns and messing around with what the PSG jer jersey should look like. I have to say I like last season's much better than this one. Believe it or not, if they would have a different color and if the center stripe would go through, I would give this a 10. But this way I really cannot go further than 7. And I cannot believe I'm saying this. I I would be so happy to see this jersey uh, done properly. Just look up here. This is what I will see. And we can make the darker blue. Uh, I have to say that the away jersey looks a whole lot better because it avoids all the weird uh, stuff. Uh, maybe this one is a little bit better, but I totally love the uh, blue. And see, so here, here's also, also light, the lighter blue. Again, broken up for no particular reason whatsoever the pattern so this is the one thing that uh, really bugs me but other than that this is a really nice jersey nine stars if the home jersey would be just as plain as this one i would love it and you could even leave the leave the you know leave the color in blue and then just uh switch on the it would be perfect no I give this 9 stars, the 10 is because the sponsors broke up. Other than that, this is a really, really nice jersey. So this is where PSG did well. Now we come to the not so nice part. Of course, we need a few jo uh, Jordan jerseys because PSG is the most um, fashionable club in the world. And the first one is definitely right. Is I saw the sneaker. This is, you know, I don't get why they need to make now uh, the jerseys after sneakers, but okay. This is after the last one that Jordan was wearing, I think. But is this a PSG jersey? I, you know, for me, one um, part of judging a jersey these days is I show the jersey to my wife. She tells me whether she likes it or not. And when she just says, I like the colors and this would look good. And the colors or whatever has nothing to do and uh, with the um, club, then I know. She is the demographic that this is made for. This is not a club jersey. This is just for the uh, fashion boardwalks. Um, and there's not, nothing against, against my wife. It's just a very good gauge of where they're going. I never liked this jersey. I mean, the colors are fine, but they're not PSG. If Bordeaux would work out in that uh, jersey, yes, because it's a Bordeaux color. In a way, you know, some uh, wine uh, or whatever. But this is just take a weird color and then uh, this the sleeves with the white and the black yeah white and black i like it's just it's this is the classic cash grab and for that i can give this only four stars i don't have a real version of it net but the fourth jersey uh, yeah that will be the killer i if this is the truth one star but it hasn't been released yet is uh, supposedly the lights of paris Give me an effing break. I I detest this one. The other one I maybe can somehow a little bit get on board. This no. Absolutely not. This is atrocious. We'll finish with more classic looking jerseys from Saint Etienne. Uh Coq Sportif, Le Coq Sportif uh is issuing them one. I'm surprised there are so little sponsors on there, but this is I mean maybe a little bit bright. Maybe a little bit bright green. Uh, if you look at the crest, there's a slight darker, dark green. But other than that, there is nothing wrong with this one. Last season, the Lecoq Sportif churches had this weird uh, thingy here. They're avoiding this. There's actually a chevron kind of in there, but it's not really there. Not much wrong with this one, uh, except that it maybe looks almost too plain, but I'm going to give this eight stars. Um, the 
away jersey goes kind of with a Korean color, but other than it's the same thing, just reverse the color, looks very pleasing. Looks very pleasing. I can also give this eight stars. And then what would you expect for the third? Of course, a black, similar to the home, uh, to the away jersey. And also makes sense. And I totally love that uh, Le Coq Sportif logo. It was with, with the others too, but it really pops here. It really pops here. It gives it a little bit more edge. And the star, you know, is for, I think, the 10 league titles that uh, Saint Etienne won is the only team that has a star like, like, like that with the tricolor of red uh, colors. Looks pretty nice as well. I'm gonna give this also eight stars. And there you have it. First league uh, jer jersey review. Let me know if you agree with my assessment. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.